Before the episode start, it was streamed at my Twitch live, so if you like, please check it out. Okay, now back to the episode. So what's this area now? What the? Oh. It's a city? Got voice lines now. Yes, voice lines. A whole city that's floating in the air! Upside down? I'm at a loss for words. Just look at this place. Doesn't it remind you of something? Is this the place from the Wait, first? What was it again? The defiled statue? Yes! That's it! It's just like that. Just as strange, just as upside down, and just as spooky. In which case, maybe whatever's going on in the chasm really is connected to the Abyss Order. Interesting. Oh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Uh, oh. Oh. Hmm. oh, I was not expecting that. The feeling is mutual. I certainly hadn't expected to meet you here either. Yeah. Long time no see, Dane. Wait, but how did you suddenly end up here in the chasm? The chasm? So we're in the depths of the chasm, are we? Interesting. This is one place where I have never set foot before. Hmm. I have a lot of questions for you. I understand how you must feel. Last time we met suddenly and parted hastily. Now our paths cross again. Fate, it seems, owes you an explanation. What's going on with that portal just now? That much should be self-explanatory. I came upon the trail of another Abyss Herald recently and began pursuing it. Okay. Unfortunately, I got as far as cornering him before he resorted to the same trick that they all do. Teleport. I was hot on his heels when I followed him through the portal, but as usual, it was to no avail. It took me to the wrong place. So you got tricked by the Abyssal Order. Okay, so you didn't actually catch up with Mrs. Rilan. Yeah, that one. Correct. Based on my recent experiences, I can only conclude that the Abyss's portals are not simply pathways from point A to point B, but gateways uh, to an entire network. Network? Where they emerge on the other side is their choice. It can be anywhere within the network. Interesting. Sounds kind of similar to how teleport waypoints work. In short, though I was right behind your twin last time when I entered that portal, the next moment that I realized where I was, I was all alone. Aww. Back in the ruins known as Storm Terror's Lair. Oh yeah! About that! Whatever happened to the Eye of the First Field Tiller? It's in a safe place. You can be sure that I will learn the truth of the Loom of Fate operation sooner than it could ever fall into the Abyss Order's hands. Why don't you tell me who you really are? Huh. <laughs> so that title stuck in your memory. I by no means went out of my way to conceal it from you. It once stood for the glory of Kanria, but now mm. it is but a cruel joke. My curse to bear. All right. Twilight Sword was my title as Captain of the Royal Guards when I witnessed the destruction of my entire homeland firsthand. I believe my reluctance to raise it in conversation is quite justified. Okay, okay. Sounds like your sister was right. Hmm. What's the history between you and my sister? We were travel partners. We both partook in a painful journey of searching for our fate. But regrettably, we did not make it to the journey's end together. The journey's end. Before you continue questioning me, I ought to warn you. Go on. If my suspicions regarding the portal network are correct, then the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that the Abyss Order has their eyes on this location. I mean, I fought one of them. You mean, the Abyss Order is plotting something here? I fought one of them Actually, earlier. Paimon and the Traveler suspected that too! I mean that it's highly likely that even as we speak, the Abyss Order is watching our every move. <sighs> Giving Paimon goosebumps. Hmm, I'll trust you for now. <laughs> a wise choice. Hmm. There appears to be light from a fire coming from near that I rocky did wall. One. Let's take a look. Okay. Should I do this mission now? I mean, I'm here. 
this all looks like the abyssal order then. Yeah, just let's, let's continue this. I'll do the other one. Come on, I wanna get sidetracked. I wanna investigate this one. This fog over here. The road seems to be covered with dark fog. Did something happen? Music, I like it. The music is so great. Battery journal. Top Sergeant Anton has discovered a large bell. Ooh. A large bell to the southeast. The rock walls have their script all over it. This is very similar to the large bell that the captain discovered in the ruins to the northwest, perhaps. We dispatch um stick Sedzna Snezna and Fedya <laughs> I can't read to ring the two bells in their respective corners. As the terrifying toll reverberated through the stone, the black fog dissipated. What a strange phenomenon. It's almost like the bells were announcing someone's arrival. Ten were lost. Ten vanguard squads took immense damage. The captain ordered to a retreat. A simple map falls out from the diary. The map marks out the two bells in the north northwest and the northeast with two ominous calls to go with it. Well, let's go with them. Map upgrade. This is connected to. So when I go there, it teleports me to here. Okay, and this is connected to that area. I need to go around here and go down. Cool. Okay, okay. Here, open this area. Whoa. So it's always cool when there's a mixture of nature and like industrial. Nice. I'm starting to lose count. Ooh. It's a ruin area. Nation of handmade to nature. No, there are more to do. Ah, oh, the bell. Punk? Nice. Okay, then one. Okay, I need to do another one. Still need to find a way to go to here. Ooh, there's a path. Okay, never mind. Can I go straight there? Yes, I can ring the bell. <clears throat> I'm gonna ring the bell. I thought I need, I need level 2, but never mind. Just for another, ooh, another area. I can have a shortcut. Oh. Oh. Remarkable condition. Um, that's free the monster. Um, I. I can be French, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, anything here? I have to ring the bell. Um. Okay. okay. What's gonna happen next? Probably need to go back to that area. Okay, we're back. Oh! New boss? Where are they? Hmm. Hi. From the ashes to this world, peace be with you. The ah, no. of redemption of revelation. I got it. The door <laughs> is opened unto you. Ooh. Hey, what did I get? Oh, I got. Okay, so that's what it is. Why are you here? I told you to go back, We're right? Way behind schedule. It's great to see that you're all right. What? What were those two creatures? I've never seen anyone or anything like that. <clears throat> all right, all right. There's no need to be so strict. I won't risk provoking them. I know. How did you get in front of us? 
we came through the hidden mines on the western side of that just so happens to let us get around the area infested with the black matter and the strange creature below. <coughs> Uh, are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. That road was pretty hard to find and no mistake. It might have been some sort of path the treasure hoarders carved out and route to their loot stash, but I can't imagine them wanting to come this far down either. Well, our campsite isn't too far away. Let's talk as we go, shall we? Okay. Okay, now let's do the mission now. Ooh. There's a camp here. Hmm. There are signs of hilly churl activity here. Could these be the hilly churls the requester was talking about? Requester? In fact, hold on. You still haven't told me what you're doing here. I doubt that most travelers would have any reason to venture down this way. I mean, I'm a traveler. I want to explore. I want to collect some chests and probably commissions. I'm not lying. Am I? I want? We took a commission from the Adventurers Guild to investigate the chasm. Apparently a whole load of hilly churls have been gathering here, and the requester wants to know why. Yeah, yeah, that one. I, I, I'm not, I didn't forget. And now it looks like we finally found our first clue. Do you want the answer? Sure, I want it. Huh? You mean, you know something about this? As it happens, I do. Huh. Did they miss something? I think I missed a lot. It's understandable that you did not perceive anything unusual. What makes this place so strange is that... Is that what? The environment here weakens the effect of the curse. Curse? What curse? Oh, Paima remembers. Last time you guys were saying that Conria's people were cursed to immortality or something. Immortality? Am I immortal? For centuries, I have suffered daily from the curse that was laid Ah, uh, you are immortal too. But here, I suddenly feel a small amount of relief from this suffering. Alright. And right here, right now, I can feel my body sending a strong message to me. It is telling me, stay. Don't follow the voices. So, this place weakens like the Like Paimon. Curse? That's pretty incredible. But how? That I shall need to investigate. But to the best of my knowledge, the Abyss Order does not have the technology to achieve this. The Hiller Curse that come here are also from... Indeed. Do you know why Hillichurls wear masks? Interesting, Lord of the Hillichurls. I think so. Is it a tribal thing? It's to hide their appearance. Lest they catch sight of their reflection in a body of water. Okay. Compared to how they remember themselves, it is a terrible sight to behold. One that causes them great despair. So these hilly churls are from... The curse of immortality denies death to those afflicted with it. And yet, it does not truly mean that they will never die. Alright. So, you mean, there's a way to undo it? Alright, that sounds kinda good. <sighs> no. Never mind. I mean that the body and soul will continue to be eroded until they are virtually non-existent. Even if death is not the form that this erosion takes. When the Hillichurls realize that the end is nigh for them, it seems their instinct is to seek out a calm and dark corner of the world in which to finally say goodbye to the centuries of suffering they have endured. Okay, so they're part of the old civilization because of the curse, they are gone crazy, I assume, because of the immortality, and they just want to just die and just move on. That's, a, that's what I'm getting here. And of all the places they could lay down to rest, one that can ease the effects of their curse would surely be their first choice. Wow. That's so... Dark. Conversation's over. Brace yourselves. Okay, then suddenly. What is it? What's happening? We're under attack. Oh, okay. It's fine. Are they, are they healer trolls? You're not healer trolls. 
Yeah, I need the shield. I don't have my young face. Animal test 6308. Absorption test. Swirl, mark two. Born of icy frost. Allow me. Like using swirls. Like I mean no characters. Animal test 6308. Access denied. Time for some healing. Absorption test. And no crit. Yep, crits. And very good. I miss using amino characters. What? Who are those? And why did they attack us all of a sudden? They're the soldiers from this chasm. Black serpent knights. They once belonged to the Royal Guard of Kanria. Okay. Wait a second. Royal Guard? So, they used to be your troops? One of your people, I see. Yes, they were. But now, the curse engulfs them. And they fight with none of the honor they once had. Because they've become pawns of the Abyss now? Let's continue on. Okay. <gasps> There's another one. There's another one. Uh -huh. Who are you? And why do you have a cool sword? Seems we missed one. Oh, that guy with the amino sword. Wait, stand down. There's something different about this one. <gasps> Interesting. Oh, he's gone. Gone like it's the wind. Gone like Batman. In the night. What the heck? Is he trying to say something? He's self-aware. You see, does he have his like consciousness back a little bit? How is this possible? How could he have retained self-awareness for 500 years? Yeah, self-awareness, that's where it. But more importantly, why did he seem so familiar? Is it your friend? Maybe he recognizes you. That would be a miraculous outcome indeed for a cataclysm that brought total doom and destruction. I mean, there's a probability though. You just press onward to the city. So I can go there. Interesting. I didn't see this. I didn't explore this. So I can really go inside this tower. So I can actually go inside this tower. This upside down ruins. Looks like there's a strange energy surrounding the city. We can't go any further. Yeah, it's part of the dark ooze. Guess there should be a mechanism or something around here. Right? Traveler, <laughs> looks like it's time to get into ruin exploring mode! It's puzzle time! Don't waste your time. Oh, okay, no puzzle time. Alright, ruining the fun. Huh? Conria's technology, abyssal power. Two things I couldn't be more familiar with. <laughs> They're just cheap tricks to me. Alright, you're ruining the fun here. Okay. So the Abyss Order really is trying to hide something here, right? Yeah, there's a lot of, like, traps. Mm. And it guards. Seems like he really understands what's going on here. No wonder the Abyss Order doesn't want him around. Hmm, was this upside-down city built by Conria? Not necessarily. Alright. The closer we draw, the more I am inclined to conclude that these ruins belong to a more ancient civilization still. Ah, so more in ancient. The Abyss Order simply got to them before anyone else. Alright. Even older than Kanria? Whoa. Paimon can't even imagine back that far. Okay, Paimon. You can do it. That said, the architecture here does somewhat resemble that of Kanria. At least, it would if it were the other way up. Ah, uh, you mean if it flips right way up? Let's head toward the light over there. Mind your footing on the way ahead. It's a long way down. It's fine. I can no. There's no teleporting. It's gonna be painful for me to go back up. That's it. Not the fall damage. It's the way going back up here. That's the more painful part. Careful. It's a long way down. I don't want to climb back up. And we're good. Hi guys. You guard in the area? <gasps> Black serpent knights. Hi, Knight. Is this where they're based? Or wait, are they guarding something here? 
I assume so. We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to hide. Let's take them out first. Okay. You know what, Circles? I, I need to fix your, like, artifacts, but uh, it's fine. Stay cool. Oh, still got hit. Look, vines. You should be able to climb up, right? All right, time to climb up. Hello? Oh no, more black serpent knights! Okay, let's fight. Oh, you're trying to talk to us. Nice. Finally, some conversation huh? from the enemies. They're not coming after us. Are they just trying to scare us off? Huh. These knights seem like they're hiding something behind them. He lookers? Wait, I saw he lookers behind them. Hold on, I think they. Are they protecting the ci the citizen of the old Candria or old civilization here? Ah, they're coming! Quick, get them! Are they protecting all of the the over there? The citizens? Are they protecting them? Should I? A little bit too early. Born of ice and frost. There. And we're done. Hello, the curse. How you been doing? Whew. That was the last of them. Yeah. Now, let's see what it was they were trying to hide. What are you doing, the curse? Are you infected by the curse? So this is the curse from the camp back there. Back there. What's this? I don't know. So, the Black Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. Huh. I should have guessed. So, what exactly is going on with these hilly churls? Are they infected by the another curse? Or the same curse? As I said, for these hilly churls, the end is nigh. The hilly curse are preparing to meet their end. They have grown old and fearful of the light. Even become one with the darkness. And yet the curse continues to corrode them. But why would the Black Serpent Knights want to stay here and guard them? Hello again. Ah, more of them are closing in! We're not gonna harm the Hillikers. Let's try to avoid fighting them. Halt! He said halt. It's him! The guy that came out of nowhere and disappeared again! Hi, guy. Oh, you're the leader? They're retreating! Did he just order them to do that? Is he the leader? Half done? Half done? So, what happened to the other half? Whoa, whoa! What? You Just kidding. recognize him? Could it be? If it's as I suspect, then this is a truly tragic state of affairs. What happened? Dane? You want to know why they were gathered here guarding the hilly churls, don't you? I want to know, really. It's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. Just guarding them? The one who ordered them to retreat just now. I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man. An elite in the Royal Guard of old. Oh, he's an elite? His name is Halfdan. Halfdan. So... He's from 500 years ago, too? To this day, I still remember the final orders. I, the Twilight Sword, gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanria, before I made haste back to the palace. Inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs. Hmm. Because we, of course, were royal guards. But this would mean nothing in the events that followed. Royals, gentry, common folk. These identities made no difference. So it's like in their subconscious to protect everyone or anything. Against the might of the gods, the only identity that mattered was being from Kanria. These black serpent knights have lost their intellect. But perhaps, in whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. Yeah, in their subconscious. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then suddenly I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat and more of a warning. 
Oh. Then, what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Run. Oh, so they're telling the Hidokers behind them to escape. Interesting. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion. It is nothing short of a miracle, born from hopelessness. Oh, so Paimon had them all wrong. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Yeah, we have no choice. We, we can't understand them. And they're threatening us, so... Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. Understood. Time to go to the light. Okay, guys. I'm not gonna harm you guys. No touching. Right, because... Poor guy. One other area. Sure enough, it's upside we down too. Any more black serpent knights? Guess that half damn guy really did recognize Captain Ding, huh? This, everything here is upside down. Is this the upside down so below thing? How am I supposed to get this? Got it. Into the depths. He's still gonna follow you. I got my teleport. I cannot teleport here. So is this whole cave upside down? Nice. I'm sorry, I'm all right, here. Dane, why so quiet? I'm just thinking, nothing more. I'm just thinking a lot. If you're trying to console me, I can assure you there is no need. Just reminiscing on the past. <laughs> Fine. Just reminiscing, and we're here. <gasps> okay, where are we now? Hey, look! There's no door sealing this room off! Looks like we can finally head to the room in the center! Come on, let's go! <gasps> Look! Up there! A water pool! A water pool! Even the water pool is upside down! Interesting! Oh, wow! This is a pretty amazing place! That's scary too! Dang! Do you have any idea at all how it works? I'm anti-gravity. The pool must be part of the entire city structure. A relic of this ancient civilization. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, it Magnets. is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. That's nice. The effect is stronger here than it was before. And I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect is that the uh, fountain of youth cleansing so that means the water in that pool can wash away the curse for good no oh that would be impossible but can can be temporarily be cured how are you so sure i have lived with this curse for 500 years and i have been fully conscious the entire time suffice to say no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Oh. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing yeah. it entirely. It can be, it can be a temporar, temporarily be a cure. Consider it tantamount to a prevention. burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Huh? Cleansing the curse cost you your life? Whoa. An irreversible curse! Paimon can't even imagine! Same. In any case, I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but... Yeah, under... suppression. Hmm. So, what's that contraption there? It looks kind of out of place. 
Hmm, an abyssal order device? Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. Hmm. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the abyss order. Or the ancient But what could they civilization to do here? Chunk chunk. Oh, more areas to explore. That's good. I hope so. Hello, Halfdan. Uh, Halfdan's back again. Halfdan, do you have something to say to me? In English, please. Oh, ghosted. He ran off, but he didn't disappear like last time. Uh, he wants us to follow him. He's indicating that we should follow him. Yeah. Are you coming? Hmm, this could be a useful lead. True. So. Uh, we going then? But I want to explore the other rooms too. Alright, I'll go. Alright, half Dan. Okay, everything here is open now, but I, need, I still need to follow half Dan. Half Dan, jump down over there! Jump down? Let's half Dan, are you fine? Are you good? I saw another half Dan on the. below the mist. Or below the abyss. Looks like Halfdan disappeared at the far end of this path. Okay, we can follow him. Perhaps whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see. Let's keep going. Okay, let's go. And the doggers are barking. Right on cue. Over here. There are more signs of hillitural activity here. How do you see? Um, ah, over there, that pillar over there. And over here. Okay, out of Hillitrolls. Is that way into the hilly trail camp? Let's go see. Okay. Did I explore this already? I don't remember. I remember going here though. Okay, there's some hilly trolls sleeping. It's a humble hilly trail camp. Never been here before. Right? Oh, these hilly trolls look like they're in pretty bad shape too. Some of them look like they've already taken their final breath. Oh. Is this what Halfdan wanted to show us? That all of the Hilotros are dead? Whether it is are going to not, die? Everything here is worth investigating in detail. Inspect the area. Leave no stone unturned. Mm. Okay, but... I don't want to harm them, though. Don't want to harm the little... This is the first time that I... I'm very, very sad that the Hilotros... Or, like... Remorseful? Is that the word? Or... For them after killing a lot of them though. Yeah. Uh, flip the perspective now. It seems like these hilly trolls have no life left in them at all. Before long, they'll become one with the darkness. The hilly trolls we meet in the wild are always so rowdy. Yeah. Paimon never would have imagined that this is how they spend their final days. It's kind of sad though. We may not have a whole lot of happy memories dealing with hilly trolls. Still, Paimon hopes they're at peace in their last moment. Yeah, they're still, yeah, they still are like humanoids, so that's sad. Hilly trolls usually store food in crates like these, right? Yes. But they seem pretty much empty. Is it because they're so near to the end that they don't need to eat anymore? Oh. Even if they don't need to eat anymore, Paimon bets they still miss food for the flavor. Paimon? Now I'm sad. Okay, there's supposed to be a fire. I'm stepping on the fire. There's a bonfire here. <laughs> I'm burning. The hilly built in the wild. I'm burning, Paimon. Wait, but wasn't Dane saying that hilly churls get scared of the light when they reach the very end of their lives? There's someone else who start the fire here. Oh, just think it aloud here. Could also be another reason. I'm burning. Aww. I'm sad now for all the hidden trolls around. Aww. Wolf flower. 
Someone left them a flower. How did that flower get this far underground? Did someone bring it in memory of the deceased hilly churros? I know this flower. Hey, now Do that I? you mention it, Paimon thinks it looks kind of familiar too. It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. Interesting. It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Hmm. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petals grow soft once more and finally turn to dust. Interesting. So someone... Yeah. Someone gave them the flower to remind them of Kan... Um, Kanria. So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, signifying the tenderness of the homeland. Hmm, that's the flower my sister was wearing in her hair. Interesting. <gasps> so for this flower to get here, it must have been brought from... Interesting. If her sister wore that on her hair, what... Is the traveler wearing the same flower from if you um, pick the other character, the other um, traveler? Interesting. Reminds me of Conria. Ooh, what happened? Your Highness. So the proposal finally your blessing cool so you left it here in focusing single-mindedly on confronting no the mean. heavenly principles we neglected our original mission the revival of the homeland mm -hmm. i should not have been so indecisive the device is almost ready we await your command what are mm. the chances of succeeding interesting Theoretically speaking, uh, approximately... How long is this? When was this taking place? Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. That's not good odds. For too long have we dwelt in the abyss. Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are. Yeah. Without a shred of dignity. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. The Order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. What was that sound? Hello, Traveler. Hello, Lumin. Hello. Been a while. Lumin. <gasps> I can talk! <laughs> Another voice line. You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? I talked. Progress. Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Okay, yeah. So she was the one who left the flower. Interesting. Well, people do say that twins have a special connection. Yeah, they say that. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And you say she mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? Hmm. She said it was her mission. No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. After all, there can be no nation without a people. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> it is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success. Only 1%. Only 1% no chance. Yeah, 1%. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. I mean, if there's a chance, people will try their best to do it or achieve the way to cure the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. I mean, that's desperation for you. So make sure you are clear in your mind. Oh, hello, Charles. You have to tell yourself 
They are no longer human. No, they're still... If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. I mean, you're right, but... Save your strength for something worth saving. Hmm, yeah. Why should I believe you? Oh? Are you me from the future? Just kidding. <laughs> but of course. I am merely someone you hired for a task, while she is your sister. Alright. It is only natural for you to side with her. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the abyss. If we have reached an impasse, then perhaps this is where we should say... I choose to believe you. But that doesn't mean I completely trust you. I see. A 100% chance of redemption versus a 99 chance of suffering and death. Nothing has the right to make the choice on another living being's behalf. Especially not when these Philoturals have already chosen the end that they desire. It seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Okay. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Nice. Give me the lore. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the Abyss. Go on. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. I can understand that. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. I'm ready to fight. Is it time for a little, a little battle? We can see the Upside Down City from here, too! Yes? Wait, watch out! Oh. Ah! ah, my eyes! What happened? Uh, wh what's going on? Is that light coming from the room in the center? Uh, it's too bright! What happened? The mutation is continuing. Has the Abyss made its move already? Insists. I see your incessant meddling continues. And that you have once again joined forces with our Highness's kin. Hello. Regrettably, I was not in time to control your exit from the network. And it sent you here of all places. This was a catastrophic error. Hello. <laughs> I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran like a coward last time. Hi, I'm here. Our Highness's will must be done. All interferences must be removed, whatever the price to pay. All right. Nice hat, dude. The curse that torments our people must be undone, once and for all. You are the only ones who torment them. There is nothing else left of those hilly churls. Nothing besides the curse itself. Say what you wish. I am going nowhere, dear. Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How absurd. But since you wish to persist, then so be it. It's time to b -b 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 battle You really think you can use that device beneath the pool to cleanse this curse? It's time to b -b 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 Do battle time! You're down. One more. And you're down. Nice game. <sighs> You've been hunting this Abyss Herald for ages! Now you finally got him! Yeah, but only one. There's a lot of... There's no time to celebrate. The Abyss Order's device is activating, but there's still time to destroy it. Alright, let's go! Time to go to the tower? Interesting. I can go here? <gasps> I can go there? What's this? Where am I? Why am I here? Oh my goodness, it's loaded. Oh no, the hit turtle. Oh no, everyone. No. Too late. 
You too? They're in agony. This is no way for them to meet their end. Find a way to stop that thing. What do you see? Half done? You can do it half then. Yeah, half then. Half then. Oh, don't do it. He sacrificed himself. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> oh, half then. Rest in peace. You did everything for the future. I thought he would have been turned to ashes in an instant. Halfdan's soul is extraordinarily resilient. Uh, is he still alive? Meddling fool! Encumber us! You're no different! More. Okay, a different new enemy. The Abyss Lector. Don't you have a greater encumbrance to worry about? Come on! This is your grand opportunity to get rid of me. Take him out and deactivate the device. You you're gonna let me do every Are you gonna let me do everything? Alright. You're just gonna fight them? Alright. You're different. The abyss has come. Oh, wait. Did I already fought you before? Ow. And one more shot. Bye bye. Ow. Well, that was a battle and a half. What do we do now? The abyss lector's gone, but the device won't stop. And half -tier. Let me take his place. No. As long as the device is active, the cursed are rendered powerless. Only you can take on the abyss. If you value his sacrifice, then do not waste any more time here. What do we need to do? See all these rays of light and portals. They must have installed several of these energy devices in various locations. Oh, so what Find I saw earlier. Quickly. So, yeah. we have to go through these abyss portals? Uh, hey, wait for Paimon! Okay, where do we need... Where are we going? I'm kind of interested in see what's on the other side of the portal. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't fall. You didn't see anything. I didn't panic while I'm... No! No! Okay, well... Wait, I need to hit it. Really suffering. Oh, wait! Dang! This must be unbearable for you too, right? Never mind that! Oh. <laughs> Half Dan and the others are enduring far greater suffering than I! Poor Dane. There's no time to lose! Just stop it out. You can do it. I'm running as fast as I can. Bonk. Okay, next area. Break this. And we're good. So I'm dark all around oh here. no. Shall we head back to the room in the center? Okay, good thing there's a area here that I can just jump on. Hi, half done, are you good? I hope you're fine. Hope so. The burning sensation has indeed stopped. So That's nice to hear. To stop the abyss orders plan? But half done though. <sighs> Let me check. I hope he's fine. Dane must be really upset. Uh yeah, yeah. Of all the ways to be reunited with one of his former comrades after so long. This <sighs> is rough. Let's go. Aw. Is he gone? Gone? Huh? Uh. Huh? Light? <gasps> That's how he looks like. 
Is it spirit? <sighs> Apologies, Captain Dainsliff, Twilight Sword. Back then, I failed you and failed to protect our people. <laughs> you did great. No. You didn't fail. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. To this day, I am proud of you all. <sighs> Conria didn't fall, did it? Since you're still here. Correct. A little white line. A little, little white line. And you turned into ashes. So, no need to revive the homeland. No. That was Haftian soul. More than one kind of strange power exists here. Souls are no strange sight under the circumstances. Still, if you intend to venture deeper in and continue your investigation, you ought to be careful. Why? <coughs> Oh no, you're coughing now. You bet! We'll be super careful! Oh, but dang! Does this mean you're not coming with us? I think he's busy, Paimon. That device took a severe toll on and me. And very, very tired. It will take tired. me some time to recover. Oh, right. Well, actually, Paimon already knew that. You've clearly been pushing through the pain this whole time. You've earned a good rest, Dane. Oh, you should take a vacation! Yeah, you should. Vacation? <laughs> the very notion. This word has no business being in my vocabulary. Alright, Mr. No Vacation. There are more important things that demand my attention. The Loom of Fate operation is still underway. And I suspect that these amplification devices are connected to that plan. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout. Thank you for understanding. Alright. I only hope that next time we meet, you know whose side you're on. I mean, I'm still in the middle if I'm gonna... S I want to defeat Abyssal Order, but still reason with um, the sister. My sister. Sheesh! He sure knows how to hold a grudge! Saving that snide remark right until the end! Hi, Mon. Don't say that behind his back. Well... Shame that we didn't get to see your sister again. I mean, I saw a vision. At least close you enough. Learned some useful info, huh? Yeah, close enough. I, I, at least I saw her in a vision. As long as you keep pressing on with your journey, you guys will definitely meet again. And everything will be back to normal. Right? I'm not sure, too. Oh, Paimon almost forgot. The real reason we came here was to investigate what was going on with the hill trills, wasn't it? I mean, we got that, right? We've probably seen enough to report back to the miner now, but uh, how are we going to explain it to him? This is all way too complicated for regular people to understand. Let's just say that we solved the problem and they're back to normal. Uh, eh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> just don't forget about the commission when we're done here. Yeah, don't forget about the reward. <laughs> 